Okay, uh, in this part of tutorial, we'll answer a user question about if we can add an inverse dynamically tracked limb to this humanoid so that the humanoid can maintain balance at the lower torso while the upper torso can be installed with some arbitrary you know, arms or tails that's reach, reaching out to something um, to a target. So um, the standard humanoid limbs such as hands uh, already have tracking ability but here we assume we want to use some non-standard limbs to track an arbitrary target uh, so we have a we have a special um, uh, way to do that it's called uh, IK actuator so here I'm going to show it before we building that tracker let's check if our humanoid still work notice that the arm here are swinging inside the torso which looks bad so let's quickly fix that first you can just add a joint limit to fix that for example on the L shoulder uh, the, the degree freedom 3 will be the rotation around the Z axis the blue arrow that's the axis you want to restrict you give a negative 85 degree here maybe uh, here is the joint limit force so 200 on the R shoulder the same thing but you want to restrict on the other direction uh, maybe 202 so let's see how it works I think it's better basically the shoulder is the shoulders are spreading out now the arms are spreading out instead of coming inside the body so now let's build a quick tail from it okay and uh, we can just clone this this uh, pelvis part maybe resize it to be longer like that okay let's create three of them Maybe just, yeah, I think that's enough. Oh, we, well, we, need, we should remove this redundant, redundant uh, game object due to the copy paste. They shouldn't have controllers under the tail. Okay, let's call it a uh, tail. One, tail two, tail three. Make sure the parent are config correct. Oh, actually, the joint type should be uh, shouldn't be TNT base. Let's just install TNT ball link on them, and make sure the parent is config correct. The tail one should grow from pelvis. Tail 2 is connected to tail 1. Tail 3, tail three is connected to tail 2. Um, and give them a small mass, like 0 0.1. Ensure MOI is auto-computed. And uh, now we need to fix the joint pivot position. So this is for tail 1. Fix it, tail 2, fix it, tail 3, fix it, just quickly check if they looks about right, okay? And uh, we now need to create, we need to create an actuator object under the controller. First create an empty, let's call it a tracker, and uh, under the tracker, object let's use the IK actuator so uh, each IK actuator can be used to track one ID chain so you can configure multiple IK actuator game objects under the controller here we only configure one to illustrate how to do it so for the first one the root should be where uh, 
the root of the chain. In this case, that's the pelvis. And the uh, ND factorator will, let's say, tail 3. Uh, we need a target under tail 3. Just create an empty game object. Call it target and move it outside the article articulation. So uh, configure the target now under target. Uh, there's an old target we'll create it. Now we clean that up. So you have 3.3 three, three link tail. The target is on the last segment and uh, we have this chain config. I also remember to make it active, of course. So with this, I think we can give it a try. Let's recompute the link indices. As I said before, it's an old bug should should be fixed in the future builds so that I don't need to keep recompute these indices anymore. Okay, so for now let's save. Um, let's see how it goes. Oh, the tail so floppy. That's because we haven't configured any muscle strength on it. Remember we did that before. We need to configure this KPKD parameter. So K KP is the muscle strength essentially. Let's give it a thousand. KD is like uh, the damper to make the motion more smooth. And usually we want to turn on soft constraint for these tracking bones. Uh, because this soft constraint mode makes the tracking more accurate. With this, let's try it again. Looks like it's tracking. Yay! So we are highlighting the target for the tracker. As you can see, uh, you know, the tail can move while the, the dude is still balancing here, right? So it can still move around and the tail is trying to track to that position. If we move, we can move the target around, it's tracking. Okay, here we go, a tracking limb on a moving humanoid base.